Most logo animations use similar techniques that are easy to learn but can be tricky to perfect. By understanding simple tools, you can get more creative and bring your logo animation ideas to life. Even though some animations may look complicated, basic changes to scale and position can still make a big impact. In this video, I'll show you eight common logo animation techniques in After Effects. These tools may be simple, but they offer a lot of flexibility to bring your ideas to life. As with any profession, practice makes all the difference. The more you practice, the better your results will be. We'll begin with trim paths and finish by adding small details. Along the way, I'll share useful techniques, including text animation. But before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. With the trim paths animation properties, you can create a trail effect along the strokes. Start by creating a circle and then increase the stroke width until it fills the circle. Next, add a trim paths effect and set two keyframes for the end property, one at zero and the other at 100. Ease the keyframes by pressing F9. Then adjust the graph editor to smooth out the speed in the middle of the animation. Now let's rotate our circle in 3D. Click the 3D icon to animate the shape with a fake 3D rotation effect. This will give you access to the X, Y, and Z rotation properties. We'll use the X rotation. Set your first keyframe, then adjust the value to 72 degrees. Then ease the keyframes and adjust the graph editor for a smoother animation. Our motion will start slowly, accelerate in the middle, and then slow down at the end. Now, let's create a transition from fill to stroke. Search for the stroke width. Set a keyframe for the starting stroke width, then add another keyframe and change the value to 37. After that, let's adjust the graph editor to make the animation start slower and end faster. In the next technique, we'll look at how to make a circle appear using a method other than the classic scale animation. Add the offset paths effect and set the amount from 10 to one. Place a keyframe for the ending position and adjust the starting keyframe until it disappears. After easing the keyframes, remember to adjust the graph editor for a smoother animation. Now let's check how it looks. It looks nice and smooth. Now let's adjust the circle's position to get that Saturn-like effect. Let's move on to text animation, where we'll use position properties. Select all layers and press P to access position properties. Then set the ending position for our animation. Next, put another keyframe for the start position and move the letters down. To create an overlap effect, move the timeline indicator to the middle and bring the letters up. Finally, adjust the graph editor for a smoother animation. The action should start quickly, decelerate in the middle, and then speed up toward the end. Next, adjust the timing of the animation by selecting all keyframes. This will create a more dynamic effect. To make the letters reveal, use the same offset paths effect that we applied to the circle. Then, copy the property settings and apply them to each letter. Now, let's see how it looks. Let's adjust the keyframes to perfect the timing and ensure a smooth animation. Let's see how it looks now. I think it looks nice. Now, let's move on to creating the bounce effect for the circle. Press P to access the position properties. Start by placing a keyframe for the ending position. Next, Move the circle up to set the starting position, and then move it down for the next keyframe to create an overlapping effect. Ease the keyframes and adjust the graph editor for smooth movement. You can apply the same technique to the second circle, which is the stroke. Let's check the result. Now let's move on to the line effect using the same trim paths technique we used earlier. Press G to select the pen tool and draw the path ending at the star position. Deselect the fill and search for the path. Add a keyframe and copy it. Then select the star layer. Press P to access the position properties. Click on the position and paste the path. Finally, adjust the graph editor to create a slow start and a fast ending animation. Now, to adjust the speed of our animation, select all keyframes, hold Alt, and drag to adjust the keyframes. Let's see how it looks. Good. Select the path layer, choose the stroke, and adjust the width. Next, search for cap and select round cap. Then find stroke length and adjust the stroke type. Add trim paths effects and set the same start and end keyframes as we did earlier in this video. Ease the keyframes and adjust the graph editor. Finally, let's adjust the keyframes to perfect the timing. The final trick is adding small details to make the animation more attractive. 
Create a second star shape, but this time chose the stroke. Adjust the stroke size and apply the trim path effect with the same end and start keyframes. And later, of course, easing the keyframes and fixing the graph editor. Do the same thing to create a circle stroke and add a trim path effect. After adding a glow effect to the shapes, this is how it will look. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and picked up some new tips. See you in the next one.